In this video, we're going to see how you can run any Python application in a Docker Compose file. So basically, you can use this tutorial to run your Python application under Docker. And in this way, you can pour them everywhere you want and you can add them as simple as possible. Also, in this video, we're going to see how you can add your Python application to Cloudflare Tunnels. So you can add an SSL and domain to your Python applications. I've already created an article with uh, all of these steps and the things that we're going to do to have uh, Python hosted under Docker. And in here you have the tutorial. I will let the link into the description with the steps that you can follow. So in the left side, I have the terminal connections to the server that I am going to use to host this Python application. And in the right side, there is the article that we're going to, to check and see exactly what we need to do to have the Python application running under Docker. So the first thing that we will need is to have like a VPS server with a uh, Docker and Docker Compose installation. I let some uh, videos also in the description with the um, with the necessary steps that you need to to do. I'm using Hesner as a VPS provider, and also I am using Dogjet to run the Docker Compose files. But in this uh, tutorial, we just we're going to see how we can run them manually and uh, see how Dogjet can help us better administrate them. So I'm here in the OPT Stacks folder. Basically, in here I have all the Docker Compose applications that I have. You see in here that I have some applications that are installed on this test server. And uh, let's create first a directory where we'll, we'll store the Python application. So I will make a directory called the Python app. I will navigate to the Python app. So right now I am in the Python app and the next thing that we are going to do is to create a Docker file. So basically we will need to create a Docker file with uh, exactly this name and what this Docker file will have, it will have the image that we are going to use. I am using Python 3.12 for this to have a working directory which is the app. Then I will copy the requisites from the, from the my app folder to the app folder and then I will just upgrade pip and I will install the packages that are in the requirements.txt. So I have everything that I need in, in there. So my Python application to, to run. So let me create this Docker file. So you just create a Docker file. And in here, I will just add these lines. I will insert them. Okay. So right now you see that I've added these lines and it will use the image. It will use the app work there, it will copy the requirements.txt, it will pip install upgrade pip, it will install the requirements that are in the file, it will not cache them to have a smaller uh, image. And right now what I will do, I will just save this file. So I've created this, uh, this file. The next thing that we are going to, to do is to create our uh, directory where we will store the requirements and the Python application. So I will just make the my app. Then I will go to my app. So in here you see that uh, I'm using this name. You can use what name you want in here. I'm just uh, showing you the default way, but you can change this as per your requirements. And in here I will create a requirements.txt file. And in this file, I will just add the nice guy in the beginning so you can see how you can run the nice guy application. And afterwards, we can add Streamlit so you can see how you can also upgrade this requirements file and have it run with the latest changes in case you want to add new packages and things like that. So let me add the nice guy in here. I've added a nice guy. You can add also your version, but for this, I will just use the latest version. And right now, I will just create a main.pi file with the application. And this file is just like the nice guy default thing that will just have like a hello nice guy and uh, that's it. You can customize it in the way you, you want. You can add your application in here. So let me copy this. I've created also some tutorials in the past with nice guy. I will let the link into the description so you can check them if you want to know more about nice guy. So right now I will have these two files in here. Basically I have the requirements and the main.pi. The next thing that we are going to need to do is to create the compose file. So for this, I will just uh, go in the main directory. So I need to be in the Python app where I have the Docker file right now and the folder where I will have everything. You have these two files you see in here. And right now I will create a Docker compose file and we are going to go through this Docker compose file. 
so you can understand what this is uh, doing. So basically, let me copy this and create the compose file, compose.yaml. Okay, so in here you, should, you see that I've created a version, the version is three. Then I have the services and I have one services called web. And under this uh, web, I have a container name that it will be called Python server. And I have the command that you need to specify. So basically in here you will tell what to run. And in my case, I will just want to run the Python and the main.pi. Basically, this is the file with the nice guy. And in here you have the build option. So the Docker Compose to start building this, uh, this Docker image. And it will have the context. It will be with a doc to be in the current directory. I have the Docker file with the Docker file name that I've created. I've added a volume in here where I will have my application so I can update it if I want to not need to restart it every time. So this volume, it will go to my local directory that I've just created and it will go inside the Docker container to the app folder. And in here you have the ports, basically in function of the ports that your application will use, you will have the one that the server will use. In my case, it is the 5021 with the 8080. This is the default port that's nice guy. It's it's working on. We are going to check also Streamlit to see how we can run it after this. And I in here I added the restart option. So this to restart in case is not uh, stopped manually. So what I will do next, I will just uh, save this file. So right now, if we check this, you will see that you have the file added in here with Docker file. You have the my app, you have the compose.yaml. And right now what we will need to do is to go and uh, start this and uh, in here I'll just let the command that will force rebuild everything and it will detach it. So to run it uh, as a process, let me just copy this and I will run the docker compose up minus D force recreate with uh, build. And uh, right now this should go and fetch the image and uh, this uh, was done very fast because I've uh, tested this before in here and the, the docker already had the, the image but uh, yeah this should take about one or two minutes for you if you didn't if you run this for the first time so right now our application should be started if you're running a docker ps in here we should have the python app web that it's running and you see the port in here that it's used for this if you're going to check docj in here you see that you have the python app in this area and in here you have the uh, logs so that's why I'm I like uh, dogj because it helps me to administrate this container easily without a fuss so yeah you can also use it if you want I will add the link into the description and uh, right now in this section if we're trying to go and uh, access the application in here you will see that our application is started and right now it's using the nice guy this is the default thing that it's used by nice guy. So you see that the application it's running. And in here you see that you have the request. For instance, if you are checking with the dozer to see the resource utilizations, you will see in here that Python server is not using a lot. It's like a small footprint that it's, it's used for the, for the application. So right now, for instance, if we want to add a new package or for instance, do you want to run Streamlit? We're gonna go and uh, do that. So in here I am in the in the docj where I have the Python app and I will just modify the file to run streamlit. So for streamlit, I will just put in here the command to run streamlit. So the command is streamlit hello. And in here I will modify the port 8501 is the one that streamlit is using. And these are the two things that I need to modify in here. And I will just hit save right now. So I will stop also this because uh, we need to update us for the requirements to tell exactly what needs to, to run. So in here, if we're going to check right now the compose, you will see that the compose file, it will use the port and it will use streamlit hello to run it. And I will go into the my app and in here I will edit the requirements. And in here I will just add the streamlit. And uh, right now, what I need to, to do is to go and rebuild this. So the new package to be to be installed. So let me just do that. I will copy this and I will run it like this. You cannot do this in uh, Dogj right now. 
So you see that right now the installation should have finished and I should have all the things added in, in here. So right now, if we are going to check DogJ and let me refresh this, you'll see that the Streamlit application is starting. And if we're trying to log into it, you will see that you have the default Streamlit application that it's running in, in here. So like this, you can modify and add packages. And uh, right now in the my app folder, you can have everything that you need in, in here and you can add files. If the application can update automatically, you just pick them, them up. If not, you can just uh, rebuild the application easily. And the next thing that we are going to do is to go and add the SSL certificate and uh, have this Python application accessible external. So to do this, we are just going to use the Cloudflare tunnel. So I am already logging in here. I've already a configuration done. This will be shown in the uh, initial video that I have with Doc just set up. And in here, I will just need to add a public. And for instance, in here, I will create a Python and you can put uh, a domain or a subdomain in here in the way you, you like. And I will choose my domain in here. I will have the HTTP and in here, I will have the local host with the port. And our case, it was the 5021. And let me go and in here and save this. And right now you have a Python domain. And for instance, if we're just going to access it, you will see that right now you will be able to access your applications with an SSL certificate and with a domain or a subdomain. So right now, the only thing that you need to do is to go and start building your Python application. It is that easy to deploy any Python application to a Docker container. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and it helped you to deploy this Python application easily under Docker. In case you liked what we have seen, please don't forget to like and subscribe.